I really need more leather. I'm gonna go ahead, straight up cap out the number of hunters. Maybe that'll make a difference in the long term. Also, I throw down hunting cabin right about there. So I can get some trading posts over here. Or as long as my log count doesn't fall b below 10,000, I'm gonna say that the system I or below 9,000. I'm gonna say that the system I have is working. Oh wow! Yeah, you can tell the population's really boomed. I've got 79 free laborers right now, just sitting around. Not doing much. Honestly, a lot of the stuff could have been sim city a little bit better. <sighs> All my fault. Yeah, this is definitely somebody that I personally ordered leather from. You can really tell. It's quite the increase in cost. I think actually, wool, I've heard, is a lot cheaper. So, I'm just gonna dismiss that guy. Start custom ordering wool from a lot of these guys. Let's see if that makes a difference. So, my log count isn't ever going too high over 10k now. It's good. Also got my firewood relegated down to not going higher than 20k. I could get wheat if I wanted to. Not that I need to. So I really don't need to get any food. Truth be told. Or any seeds, truth be told. I think this system as I have it set up is working quite pleasantly for all of my food related needs. Uh, I think I could use more market vendors just to make sure those markets stay nice and full. It's starting to look like I'm running out of my building materials again. Surprised though that my log count has stayed so stable. I'm really wondering now if the cap I have is a hard cap or it will apply to resources bought as well. It seems like I've had another epidemic outbreak, but it immediately went away. No problem there. Although my epidemic outbreak personally has not gone away. <sighs> I wish I could flatten this mine, or this mountain. It'd be very nice. Although I have no idea where I'd put all the dirt. I think I'm actually need more schools here. So I could set up a trading post on this little tiny peninsula, but I get the feeling that it wouldn't be very efficient if I did. So I might leave that for someone else. I'd like it if I could place a cemetery here. Too spacious, but I think it'll do. Just because I think I need a cemetery rather badly. You know, if you take the perspective on this seriously, it's kind of amazing. You think of a band of 16 to 18 people, nothing but a few basic tools and basic foodstuffs coming together and making a city like this? Fucking impossible, you know? Nobody would think it's possible in a million years. 
And yet, this is what this whole game's about. Surviving an impossible situation. Banished from the motherlands. You are to create a thriving populace. And of course, it's sandbox, so you know, you can really just do whatever the fuck you want, but... People like to go for different things. Personally, I like to have an overcrowded city. Some people like to have very beautiful, very ritzy cities. And I just like the straight on numbers of it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset all of these purchase logs at the rate they were once purchasing them and see if they just stop dead from purchasing logs once they hit that 10k number because I'm truly curious and it would be a nice experiment to prove one way or the other and by all means, I have nothing but time to do this. I'm also considering increasing the firewood cap, but so far I haven't been given too good of a reason to do that. And well, logs are still sitting around 10,000. Although actually, didn't I increase the production cap to about 15? I did. Oh. So they were sitting at 10k just really naturally with my purchases and production along with my usage. I doubt I'm using that many. 22 nomads. I think I'll actually allow them. I don't like being a dick for too long. And I immediately get a disease. Oh, oh, oh wonderful. Okay. Well, so long. Oh, jeez. Eight? Six. Okay. About to say that number was getting a bit scary high. I suppose I can expand some of the housing I have over here. I just want to keep that in mind. In permanence, I'm probably not going to bother with keeping up where that marker is, but short term, I want to respect its production capacity. And encourage it to produce all it can produce. I want you to be all you can be. I realize that I don't have any stone roads here. Whereas that's not like a life-threatening problem or anything. It's not exactly very efficient. Especially considering the number of people I have over in this area now. And the fact that it does have its own market. And another outbreak of disease, holy shit. That's frequent. And this cemetery is almost already full. <laughs> that was useful. Holy fuck. And that school is already full. Yeah, I don't like the looks of that. Absolutely filled with the rim of firewood. Ugh. That's no good. Ones over here are actually deficient in firewood. So, what I'm going to do is remove this structure. That's going to distribute all the firewood pretty much everywhere else. And then I'm just going to replop it down right where it was. I'll make it so that these guys can much more easily get their hands on firewood. This one while I'm at it. 
I don't want it to be going far too close. Holy shit. I did not even recognize my food numbers. Oh, holy crap. I let my food fall all the way down to about 20,000. This might be irreversible. I might have fucked myself. When I mean, you don't realize something like that, it can... It can be the death of you. So thankfully though, I do have a lot of saves previous to this state. So things do get really bad and I can't salvage this town somehow. What I'll end up having to do is just restart from an earlier position. And when I do restart which I imagine I will have to at some point in this map. I will just kind of try to show what I did differently and hopefully end up creating a somewhat similar town result. But obviously, with a few slight changes. <laughs> I still obviously need to buy wood, but. If I don't start getting enough food bought here soon, I'm going to be in a world of pain. Like, that just utterly snuck up on me. Holy crap. That number is falling way too quickly. Just get graphs. Food. Yeah! Oh my. Like, you see, some spiking is expected, but that level of spiking, I th think I've created, I've created a problem here. Uh, this might go into crisis management mode then. Well, first things first, something I might do. I'm gonna need every available 11 by 11 that I can get producing food and then I can also use other manners of producing food, gatherers huts and things like that and Another piece of this crisis management is going to be that every single merchant that I see roll into the port, I'm going to have to try to maximize food purchases from. And short term, I think I'm going to actually buff up this number to 30k. See if I can't get better distribution stockpiles around town. I'm gonna remove that. See if I can't get that wood shipped elsewhere. Because right now I have all of my firewood in one place and all of my lumber also in one place. And they took it all to this. That's that's wonderful. Not what I wanted you to do. Very ineffective. Okay, now I can replace you. And hopefully you as well. And a tornado is somewhere nearby. Holy shit. As if I did not have enough problems, now I have to deal with fixing 
half my fucking town from a tornado. Well, there is one little blessing there, and that's that it removed a lot of population weight. Okay, beans. I'm also going to just throw up a whole bunch of farmers. Beans. You need to be rebuilt. But I'm actually going to leave those houses destroyed as are. Beans. Beans. And you fucking guessed it. Peppers. <laughs> 